not packed well. Why do you think that is? What can you see about this pack? It's lopsided. It's lopsided. See this over here? It's lopsided. Yeah, and it's not pulled down on the top. So if I put my water bottle in the top, it's going to swing down like this, and this is going to be lopsided over here. And when I go to put it on, it's going to be pulling me back like this. I'm not going to have any fun on this side. Right? So what we're going to do is pack it properly. I'm not going to go through all the individual items because Put it to the side. Don't put anything in your pack until everything's done. Okay, so in here I have all my personal gear. This is kind of a big stuff sack. We're going to give everybody one stuff sack. So if you don't have two stuff sacks, you're going to need to, like if you don't have a sleeping bag stuff sack, you're going to need to try to use two garbage bags and squeeze it down, get all the air of it as tight as you can. And your teacher will show you how to do that. But we only have enough for everybody to have one stuff. <coughs> so what I've done is I've put all my gear that I'm not wearing hiking in here. So it might rain tomorrow. So I don't need to put my rain gear inside my stuff sack, inside my backpack. And then I get off the bus and I'm like, oh no, it's raining. I'm going to go, hold on. And I'm pulling everything out and having a garage sale in the parking lot, right? You don't want to do that. So my sun hat and my rain gear, my water bottle, my sunglasses, my sunscreen, those things don't go in with my clothes. This should really be what you're gonna wear when you get your nice warm shirt you're gonna put on as soon as you stop hiking and get up to the lake. That goes at the top of your clothes bag. But everything else, all this sort of extraneous stuff, you can fit in on the top. Don't put it in here. All right, so then, the other thing is, whatever I'm wearing hiking tomorrow, I don't want to pack in here because it's going on the bus on, in a truck and you're only going to see it at the trailhead. So you can't say, can I get into the truck and get my pack because I forgot my favorite hiking shirt. You won't be able to get it. So make sure whatever you're wearing tomorrow, you don't pack in here. And plan for the weather. It's supposed to be cool, possibly rainy. So make sure you've got maybe a long sleeve shirt and your hiking shorts. Your hiking boots and your hiking socks, all those things you're going to take home with you today so you can wear them tomorrow. Okay, so in here I've got all the stuff that was on the list that you're going to go through with your teacher. I've got a garbage bag. What I did was I put the stuff sack open, I put a garbage bag in it like a liner, and I stuffed all my clothes inside that. Doesn't matter, you don't have to pull things. And then I'm going to take all the top of the garbage bag up like a tail. And I'm going to squeeze all the air up with my extreme weight. And then I'm going to twist the garbage bag. Should I tie a really, really, really tight knot? No. Yes. No, because then I'm going to be not able to get the knot. I'm done. You don't even have to tie any knot. You just stuff it down the inside. And see how much smaller that is than when I just started? When, when I opened it up the first time? So I've cut my size almost in half just by by getting the air out. Okay? So this is pretty heavy. This can go near the bottom of the pack. But um, you want to try to put the heavier things down at the bottom because if I have a big heavy pack on top, 
it's going to make me lopsided. It's going to swing me around. If I have everything down near my hips, I'm going to be a lot more comfortable. Okay, look, having said that, if you're putting the pot set in the bottom of your pack, don't put it straight down the center of your pack because you're going to get it all nice and packed and you're going to put, you're going to put your pack on you're going to find you've got this big hard lump right at the, at the bottom of your pack. So you've got to kind of experiment, move things around, see what you can do. A suggestion that Victoria, uh, Ms. Ann Schoen had last week was that you're all going to get a, a thermorest, a camp mat, sleeping mat. You can put that down, you see the tiles on the outside, put that in first, put it right into the pocket that's in the bottom, and it'll make your pack kind of um, sturdy, and then you pack inside that. Because what happens is once you pack your pack and you're trying to shove that thing on the side, it's really hard to get it in there. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yes. And it just looks a little confused. Yeah, you have straps on the side. Yeah. I don't know if you have the bottom thing. But, okay, so I'm going to say that I've got a pot set in here on the side, not right down at the middle. And then I can put my big heavy clothes stuff stuff in. Actually, I'm going to put my sleeping bag in just in case I forgot an article of clothing in my clothes bag. So I'm going to put my sleeping bag in. And I'm going to try, you can get a friend to help you if it's hard to get everything in, but you try to look at each piece and figure out if it's in the right place. See, that fits nice and no big bumps or bumps. Okay, then I can put my clothes pack in. Now, when you get to the trailhead, grade eight to nine, you're probably going to have to take some of this stuff out so that you can pack the food back in. Okay. Then I'm going to put my rain gear and my sun hat on top. I'm going to close this up. You're going to have a few more things in this, right? But get it as small as I can. And then on the very top, I have room for my gork bag that you're going to get at the trailhead that the gray man's prepared for you. We did. And water bottle. And that's all I really need at the top. Maybe my sunglasses. But you don't stuff them so full that things are falling out. Okay? Um, another thing that you should have is a pair of camp shoes. It's on the list, like just running shoes. They can go at the top as well because they're lumpy. They don't fit in your stuff sack or very many places. Should I hang them on the outside? No. No, you should try to not have anything hanging on the outside. Okay? Because it'll swing around. Okay, last thing I'm going to show you is you get all this nice and secure and tight and you pull down all the straps so that nothing's going to fall open. And when you go to put it in the truck or the gear vehicle, close the um, hip strap so that it's not swinging around because they break. Okay, then to, um, I'll show you a trick. If you're on the hiking trail, there's a bunch of different ways to put your pack on. One is you put it up on a, on a stump or the side of the hill or something and you just slip into it and lift it up. The other is if it's down on the ground, you say, hey, can you help me? Can you help me? And you get a friend and lift it up because that's easier for him anyway to lift it up. Oh, thank you. And then you slip it on. Okay, the reason why we do that is this is easier than doing this. If I go and try to put it on, I'm going to hurt somebody behind me. I'm going to twist my neck. I'm going to fall backwards. All kinds of things you can do to yourself by swinging it around. Okay? So be careful lifting your pack up and down. Grade sixes and sevens, you don't have to carry all your stuff the whole time, but you will be carrying the pack on the um, hike, and we're going to be carrying our lunches and water bottles. Okay? So then the hip strap. I'll just show you as quickly as I can here. It needs to actually be above your hip bones. So if it's below your hip bones, it's going to swing down and you're going to get really tired bum muscles. Okay? If it's up above your hips, you're going to have more evenly distributed weight and you'll feel much better. This thing, a lot of people think, oh, it's dumb, I don't need that. It actually pulls the pack forward for you and makes it, see how it's touching my shoulder blades? You don't want your pack coming back because it'll pull you back. So you'll feel like you're going to fall backwards all the time. Have it snug 
Um, and you can get your teacher or friend to secure these straps at the top. They pull the whole backpack forward for you. Okay, so this should actually feel pretty comfortable. If it doesn't, when we're on the trail, we'll try to adjust it. 